Just so you know, I have tried performing this show in Dutch. And it is funny, but not for the right reason. Uh, aesthetically, uh, my show in Dutch is, how would I call it, like a car crash? Uh, aesthetically, it's not a lovely language, and I just thought, like, I, I, would, should, I would put this out there. I love Dutch people, I love Dutch culture, the Dutch language, I think you deserve better. I think, I think you can do better. I'm just putting it out there. I mean, my first impression, my whole first impression with Dutch culture was the Dutch language. And unfortunately, that was part of it. My expectations of the Netherlands were based on uh, Fox News, I guess, you know, from America and whatever they're telling people about, oh, it's a den of sin and it's a social experiment gone wrong and it's one big Sodom and Gomorrah. And you get over here with like Schiphol Airport is the most modern and wonderful and, uh, you know, you get to Central Station and I walked out of Central Station and I was like, oh, this is going great, you know, and I'm there with my big old, you know, <laughs> pants and shirt and my backpack and I'm looking around and my first impression was the bikes. There were more bikes than people, and there still are. Um, but my second impression was actually uh, that, that, there, that there were women who were like my height. Um, <laughs> there were tall women everywhere, and I didn't realize it at the time, but it was in April, and it was the first warm day of the year. So it was, as the Dutch call it, Rokjesdag, right? It was the day that all the women sort of, uh, you know, called each other and said, should we bring out our short skirts today? Yes. And so that was my first impression of the Netherlands. It was a virtual parade of tall Dutch women on bicycles saying, look at our legs, look at our legs. <laughs> And I couldn't believe it. Like, people were bringing bikes into the train station. I thought, oh, okay, they're, you know, they were walking their bikes. But then this one woman was, like, riding towards me with her bike and with the hair flowing in the wind, and she steps off her bike, and she's coming toward me. And I'm like, oh, I better not stare. You know, this is weird. And she's coming closer to me like she's looking at me. And I'm thinking, this can't be happening. It's like a dream come true or something. And she's like making eye contact with me. And I'm thinking like, this really is happening. I can't believe this. And I'm looking at her and I'm holding my map. And the first thing out of her mouth is, Mach ik uit met de plattegrond. And I'm thinking, no, it is too good to be true. They look beautiful, but they've been infected by some zombie virus. <laughs> You're like, Run for your life. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I... I was so ready to be in love, and I was just frightened, you know? <laughs> At best, you sound like an angry, choking victim. Um, and what's weird about it is that I've become so used to speaking, like, North Nederland Dutch that when I go into, like, Limburg or, like, uh, Belgia, and they have the Zachte G, I'm like, <laughs> you people are crazy. I mean, what is wrong with my head? So...